Hello out there, everyone. I am DJ Particle. This is Particle Play Live. How's everyone doing out there today? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not splatting today, folks. <laughs> we, we, we got plenty more time to splat next week. So I decided that, um, that we're going to do a Take It Easy stream uh, today anyway. So let's, um, let's bring on the voice chat. Hello, Ronko Ashino. Howdy. And I see uh, Kiyome is here, just um, muted. Yeah. So how are you doing today, Ronko? Pretty good. I had some crazy fun with the imperishable light this morning. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. By the way, a happy 12th stream anniversary to Ronko. At least on yeah. Twitch. Also celebrated 1,000 <laughs> YouTube subscribers by <laughs> uploading a replay and video format on onto YouTube, of course. Oh, cool, cool. Ah. Uh, on the note of, uh, of subscriber milestones, Pippa Pebblesworth has reached 10,000 subscribers recently. Really? Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> and Pippa Pebblesworth being a member of Globy. Oh, yeah. She's the British... Penguin VTuber girl. She's a cutie. I like her accent as well. She's fine. <laughs> cool. Also, the Niji Sanji stuff was actually the problem was being caused by not by someone from within Niji Sanji itself, but by an independent person that, that was doing music with Niji Sanji, and they kind of are getting on to that. Oh, what? The, how, how did this person get that kind of access? If it was just someone, if it was just simply a musician they were working with, why would they give a musician that sort of access? And we're working with the different livers, I think. Oh, jeez. But Niji Sanji is actually working on stuff. All right. Although, to be fair, to be fair, I'm like about half a week behind on my sub feed, so well, yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, if I recall, we got what four gyms down now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, duck. What's up? Welcome. Yo. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing some uh, poke stuff today. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for still being muted. I can't get my voice right right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Kill Me. Lar it's all right. Laryngitis, just something in your throat or Trust me, I know what that's like. And the thing is sometimes I've even gone live with a less than perfect voice. <laughs> I'm going to get this intro to happen all the time, always forever, I guess. Mm -hmm. The mock bike. <laughs> Faster than that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Must be an e-bike. <laughs> She's pedaling it. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Apparently, app apparently, um, Who Cares 314 has been doing, uh, Danganronpa recently. <laughs> Shitty Rafiti. Yeah, I, ra I raided her last night. She was, she was doing the, uh, class trial for Chapter 1. Ah. Something in your throat making it difficult to lower it. It's making, it's making it feel bled talking so you're drinking water. Oh, okay. Got a bit of a another level cur curving upward coming up in the next gym. We might want to train. It may not be enough though. I think at least uh, Combuskin should be ready though. All right. We are going into the desert. Now that we have the go goggles. Ah. Route 
Route 111. <laughs> Just going into the deep sand leads to wild Pokemon encounters. <clears throat> and there being a sandstorm here is a, is a thing to keep in mind. Mystery Science Theater reference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry you weren't here last night. I didn't think I was in Bronco Stream long. I wanted to turn Memorial Way out, but that's all right. It's okay. Just gotta take care of yourself, you know? Yeah, Baltoy. Ground Psychic Pokemon with levity for its ability. Immune to ground type moves as well. Knock away all the spikes I didn't lay down on the ground. Oh, <laughs> that's a Gen G move, by the way. Yeah. Uh. At least I don't have to worry about Jirachi disobeying. Now that that level limit has been raised to 50. Ah. We'll go with Jirachi as it is also immune to the sand sword. Ground types, rock types, and steel types take no damage from sand swords. Jirachi on the team should also be helpful for the upcoming gym to some extent. Yeah. What's up? I know what I, I saw. I, I saw your new art in the Discord, Hector. Looking good. Kill man. I was able to join someone splatting and you forgot how sh how shy you are in the voice text. You never been on that first. Oh, jeez. Hey there, Ignite. Have a nice flirt. I got my uh, amiibo figures today. Yeah, so yeah, so did I. I put a picture up on my uh, Twitter. 
Nice. Yeah, I ordered I ordered a set for me and a set for Dana. But they actually packaged them in the in the regular long boxes instead of the double boxes that we use in the past. I guess they are just that big of a deal. Yeah. Dana says she thinks they're the nicest uh, Splatoon amiibos they've ever made. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I, and I agree. All right. Yep. Oh, you only got the off the hook ones, Hector. Ah. What I need to do at some point, I, I hate to say this, but I think at some point I'm just gonna have to ditch the boxes. Cause I keep them in the boxes. I mean, I don't, I don't keep the boxes unopened. But what I usually do is when I want to use them, I open the box, take them out, use them, and I put them back into their containers in the box. But now there's just so many of them, I've run out of room in my shrine. I don't... I... I... Wait, which, uh, which promo character is the, uh... Is the... Is the, perp is the purple-haired Octoloon guy? Is that Hero? I hope you're not asking me. Oh. You want to get physical table turn cards they actually sell them? Yeah! Yeah, I, oh yeah, I know. Hey, bye. For tackle, heck yes. <laughs> if I were to keep my streamish, uh, streamish long enough, it would be able to learn this score by leveling up. But because I'm planning to evolve it as soon as I can, it will miss out on that move. Spore being a grass type status move that just puts the target to sleep, accuracy being 100. That's okay. Oh, grand run tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, we start doing the grand run at 11 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I'll do. I'll do, I'll, I'll be doing great, and I'll be doing the big run stuff as well. Cool. Also, when you run by um, trainers that turn around, it, like do the spinning stuff, mm -hmm. spinning trainers, it'll grab, and your running will grab their attention ah. and turn them toward you. Now, if they turn or spin, they will turn to uh, try to turn to, uh, to face you. Your direction. Yeah, that was introduced at the same time as running. Just demonstrating that real quick. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the running property, the turning to face the running player takes priority over their normal behavior. By the way, because this is still Route 111, this route has two pieces of music associated with it. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow. Hmm. 
I'm looking up um, Dr. Alan Lickman's 13 Keys, right? Because he he is a he's a he's a political science junkie, and um, and since 1980 since 1984, he has predicted every presidential election with the exception of 2000. He's predicted the winner every time, except for 2000. And if you go retroactively back to um, back to Abraham Lincoln. The Keys only failed twice retroactively, and that would be in uh, 1876 and And the thing is, all three times the keys failed were times when um, were times when the uh, winner did not win the popular vote. 1876, 1888, and 2000. They were all times when the uh, when the winner did not win the popular vote. Um, basically, Dr. Lickman went through his 13 keys, because this is around the time of year that he makes his prediction. Um, and Harris passed the threshold with two keys left to spare. Alright. Yeah. But yeah, he came up with a system after looking at, so at social, political, and economic conditions of the country for every election since 1860. I wonder why you use healing items when I have the healing spot right here, right? Yeah. Never see Kami's pace. You see your face. Why the hell would politics not be a popular vote thing? What the hell are we voting for? Well, the thing is, back when the country was first set up, um, they they want they wanted to they wanted to give they they want they wanted to give whole states a certain amount of say as well on their own. And that's how the electoral vote system happened. Uh, the only problem is, it takes a constitutional amendment to get rid of it. And you're not going to get 38 states to agree on that. It is incredibly hard these days to get a constitutional amendment passed. Also, by the way, there are fossils in this game. This generation. I mean, since 1970, there's only been two constitutional amendments. 
The root fossil leads to the Pokemon Lively. And the claw fossil leads to Anorith. You can only grab one of these per save file in Ruby and Sapphire. Not like I'll use either one of them, but <laughs> just so you know, these are here. Oh, you were going to Walgreens sector? That's all right. But the thing is, uh, but, the, but the thing is, a coalition of states are trying to get around the Electoral College. Because states still get to decide who their electoral votes go to. And there's a coalition of states building where, where, um, where they give their electoral votes to whoever wins the popular vote. Now, that will not Lively. trigger. That does not trigger until yeah. enough states have joined the coalition to reach 270 electoral votes. I think right now it's up to what? And there goes the claw fossil. Something? Can't get it. Yeah, I think right now it's up to like 190 something. Yeah, I can't get the root. I can't get the claw fossil now, but that's okay. Uh, uh, no, Duck, uh, Alan, Alan Lickman predicts Harris is gonna win. Like I said, Harris reached the, Harris reached the eight key threshold with two keys left to spare. Ricky seeing the scene storm just pause suddenly. <laughs> adventure I mean that's what that's why on his on his official graphic that shows the keys for this race that's why there are two keys that are that are neither marked true nor false because they're new oh god everyone everyone wants a piece of your go goggles shit they should have their own already if they're in this area. I'd be relying on Tentacle more if she already needs Bubble Beam. That's still three levels away. And as you can see, a decent portion of my team is kind of under leveled. with this thing. Oh, geez. oh goodness. One sand attack is good enough. And I think it also has sand veil as its ability, which makes missing even more of an issue. Whatever. For him to play though. Ooh. Okay. Pokemon has the ability to sand veil it. It increases its evasion while in a sandstorm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, duck. Wow. 
What's the point of voting? Well, the point of voting is to help your is to help your state go to win. Such as the system we have currently. Oh, I I know, kill me. I know, I know. I don't think it's likely either way. Though, I, I don't think it, it's likely either way, mainly because it would require a Republican trifecta, and that is not going to happen. I mean, right, right now you can pretty much guarantee Democrats are going to get the House back. And it's likely Democrats will keep the Senate, too. So. I have items, but I'd rather keep healing it for free. Full team healing for free. Why not? It's a little silly, but yeah. Oh, um... How... How can I... More, how, how can I most easily explain this, Duck? Um... Are you familiar with the movie and or TV series, The Handmaid's Tale? Or even the book, for that matter? Well, let's just say Project 2025 is, is a plan set out by religious fundamentalists to basically turn the U.S. into Gideon. Yeah, we're expecting people to know the, all the things that you know, Emmy. Oh. Oh, all right, you're not familiar with that. All right, well, well, basically, it's a plan. It's, it's a plan to turn the U.S. into a religious theocracy. It is, well, it is stupid. Now, this and, is a plan coming from stupid people. Yeah, and the thing is, Trump has tried to distance himself from it, saying, I, I don't do Project 2025, I have Agenda 47. Uh, Agenda 47 is basically Project 2025 in lace speed. Yeah, I know, Kyome, I know. But how can I say this? Right now, in the amalgamated polls, um, it, at least in the popular vote, Harris is above Trump by more than 3%. And keep in mind that ever since Roe v. Wade got reversed, Democrats have been outperforming the polls. So it so it it's looking good for us. wish Tentacle need Bubble Beam already. Mm -hmm. But sand attacking would do nothing because clear body prevents that debuffs from working. Ah. And watch her force is super effective against ground Pokemon. But then there's also recent news. I don't know if you saw today's news, but a uh, a right-wing media company 
that runs a U that runs a YouTube channel with several with several prominent right wing internet influencers. Uh, apparently, it was found out that this media company is an adjunct of RT. And if you don't know what RT huh? is, RT is Ru is Russia Today, which is um which is basically the international branch of Russia's state news agency. Okay. Yeah. Huh. And, um, and apparently what got released is like, a, is like a list of, like an outline for the media company to try to encourage, to try to encourage their talent to push. It, and it even admits that, it, and this outline even admits that some of what, that some of what their talent is pushing is, well, lies. The outline basically says, you know, take, take some, take, take just enough fake news and sprinkle it among the real news to make it sound, to make it sound plausible. And then say, and then say stuff like, this is stuff the mainstream media will never tell you. And let me tell you something. Uh, a few of the a, a few of the talent from that media agency uh, feeling pretty trumped right now, <laughs> and they're not happy. <laughs> One of them, of course, being Tim Pool. Okay, okay. I guess I could level up my tentacle to twenty-five right now. <laughs> I guess I might as well do it. Uh, rare candy. I need to use three of them. What What are you talking about, Kiyomi? On the, but, well, basic, well, basically, here's the vote. You either... here Here's, here, here's the vote. You're either voting for... A party that will more or less keep our current government structure intact, or a party that will radically change it and and endanger the oppressed. We don't need constrict. Yeah. <laughs> constrict is the, the in terms of moves that have it a displayed base power. Yeah, Constricted has the lowest number for their ba for its base power at ten. There are no five base power moves. Yeah, so it's basically Yeah, so it's basically, you know, keep our system imperfect as it is, it's still workable, or or vote to turn it into a religious theocracy. Turn it into Christian Saudi Arabia, basically. Yeah. And I know there are plenty of people who would love to that that to happen. Thankfully, they are outnumbered, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Right now, they are. <laughs> yeah. Plenty more people that don't want that to happen. I mean, like I said. Harris is already up by over 3% right now in the amalgamated polling, and Democrats have been outperforming polls since 2022, so... And the main reason <laughs> why the Democrats will likely get the House back is because, of, uh, is because a couple states got un-gerrymandered between 2022 and now. For example, is Michigan and Wisconsin. Yeah, four is in the ones and the zero is in my safe state data. <laughs> safe file data. I still need to level up the rest of my team, but having it... If I had that rare candy sooner, that would have been nice for... Kind of nice for the fourth gym, but at the same time, with sunny day kind of getting in the way, sunny weather for the battles, uh, weakening water moves, it may not have made that much of a difference anyway. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, of course kill me. Definitely. Of course. No, no, we're, no that, that, that makes too much sense, Kiyomi. Well, see, the problem with religious fanaticists is, um, is they think that uh, unless everyone ends up believing in their religion, there's going to be Armageddon. So they see, so basically they see non-believers as an existential threat. Hey, Crazy, what's up? Crazy. Oh, well, yeah, we're taking a break from the splats tonight. We'll get back to them tomorrow in the big run. Oh, by the way, I do have my, uh, I do have my Grand Fest, uh, wrist strap, too. Uh-oh. Mom wanted me to get, he wanted to get me her, the rest of her, her carrot cake slice. Oh, yeah, the movie about Reagan, yeah. Right. Testing. Hey, okay. what's up, Kilme? Howdy. Twitch crashed. Ouch. Yeah. As per usual. Yeah. Is there you crazy? Yeah, 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 that's oh. the Reagan movie. I, I've seen clips from that, and... Oh, I dropped a few Dennis thousand frames. Quaid, Dennis Quaid didn't even try to do a Reagan voice. Seriously. Huh? I've seen clips from the Reagan movie. Dennis Quaid as Ronald Reagan. He didn't even try to do a Reagan voice. I don't know who Dennis Quaid is, Ever. and I didn't know there was a Ronald Reagan movie. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got my Grand Festival wristband. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it all through the fest. I assume the I, oh, ass, I assume the snap can be, I assume the snap is removable. A revive. Hmm. In fact, I think I'll wear the band Wednesday night at work. Next Wednesday night at work. <laughs> yeah, there's this peculiar yeah, Thursday structure. off. Oh yeah. Yeah, I took um, I took uh, Grand Fest Thursday and Sunday nights off of work. Yeah. Hey, there's this peculiar it's setup. Basically treating it like a con. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. There's nothing we can do about this right now. Right now. But I will say, it is related to legendary Pokemon. Mm-hmm. We will need to, if we want to do anything about this, we will need to come back later. Ah. Uh. We can deal with it during this story time of the game if we want, it, want to, but we can also alternatively just save it for post-game. Mm -hmm. We just need extra preparation either way. Yeah, you know what's really funny, Duck? You know, you know, MAGA, wor you know MAGA worships Ronald Reagan, but... But it's it's because it's because they got nostalgia clouding. If if they, you know, it if they time traveled back to 1980 and saw what Ronald Reagan was standing for, they would not vote for him. <laughs> not conservative enough. Well, well, here's the thing: Ronald Perhaps. Reagan gave lip service to the religious right but didn't actually give them anything. Mm -hmm. Alright, huh? 30, Team 37 is indeed... Sandstorm. Is Kilme there? Yes, Kate! Kil we yeah, we're in uh, Ronko's chat. Yeah. yeah. It's just gonna be the three of us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trump did plenty of damage, Cake. How can yeah. I say? How can I say this? Even, 
even 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 Reagan couldn't put the uh, couldn't put the cards in place to overturn Roe v. Wade. By the way, that's all the trainers in this area, and that's all the trainers who will get until after. I mean, our we current SCOTUS, you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, our current SCOTUS didn't just override Roe v. Wade, but they also uh, reduced the enforcement abilities of government agencies. You know, the agencies that keep us safe, the FDA, OSHA, you know. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, no wonder they found lead and tampons, metals and food and listeria outbreaks in our food. Yep. You know, I don't know what I'm more pissed about. The fact that there's... That they found... Consuming amounts of lead. One, they found lead. In tampons. Mm -hmm. That you put in a very absorption oh, part yeah. of your body. But two, they didn't start testing menstrual products with period blood until this last year. Yeah, I know. I know. No wonder they don't hold shit. Oh God, crazy! Come with me, and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can I can only think uh, when it comes to OSHA violations. I can only think of the comically bad ones, yeah. where you get the bucket truck and you ha have it go over a, a, a flooded area. And you put a, a ladder in the bucket oh, to get to the power pole. To get to the power pole. Uh, oh, <laughs> the comically bad ocean, the, the ocean violation memes. What? <laughs> you gotta do some repairs, but you, you get your repair truck. You stick the you stick the bucket arm out. And you put a ladder in the bucket to get to Ray D. That is extremely insane. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what the bucket truck is, right, Kiyomi? It, 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 it's it's no. like it's a, it's a big truck with a with a with with a um, with with a bucket on the end of a crane, and a person stands in the bucket. But in this case, the bucket isn't yeah. good enough, so they had to add a ladder in I, the bucket. I don't understand. Well, there, um, I, I actually, I think there's a bucket truck, um, in Splatsville as part of the run-up to Splatfest. Yeah. Yeah. There's one in Inkopolis Plaza. Oh, that's it, Inkopolis Plaza, not Splatsville. Inkopolis Plaza. That's what. Yes, oh, hon. never mind. I know exactly what that is. My grandpa was an electrical one. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what that is. Oh, they were called bucket trucks. They just called them bucket trucks. Yeah. Are you sure? Should People stand in bucket trucks? trucks to fix power lines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. As I said, I know exactly what that is because my grandpa was an electrical one. It was a lineman for the county. No, you want to know something even more embarrassing about that? What? It took me until literally last year to realize it wasn't Lime Man. It was Lime Man. Oh. I always thought it was a Lyman. Like, Lime. Like, <laughs> no. Fruit. Like fruit. No, no, it is lying. I didn't yeah. ever put two and two together, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you right. gotta get your power lines ready, Kiyomi. Like, the thing is, I knew he worked on the power lines. It's just I didn't put two and two get to the b b b English, I swear to God. No, it... <laughs> Stuttering is super fun. I know what it's like. Oh, God. <laughs> Someone tried to someone tried to say a few days ago on Twitter. Remember the 70s and 80s when no one was autistic, gluten intolerant, or trans? So what happened? So someone put a picture up from the 1970s of Lou Reed and his girlfriend Rachel Humphreys, who is trans. 
<laughs> yes, Lou Reed dated a trans woman in the 70s. Yeah, not just that, but the whole, oh no, there was no autistic pe- Uh, uh no, we just had, there was we just had less of an understanding of what autism- Because we shunned them away and yeah. locked them in mental space. Yeah, we just had less of an understanding of what autism was back in the 70s. They still have a terrible understanding of what autism was. Well, but like, still a even lot better now. understanding than they had in the 70s. Yeah. But try and get an autism diagnosis to somebody who's assigned female at birth. They'll tell you it's anxiety. Yeah, I, I know. I am not kidding. The amount of times I got diagnosed with anxiety, then ADHD, and then finally for them to be like, oh. Ooh, you know, that's... Like, Jesus Christ. Not since that, but any other. No, she died in 1990. Crap. Anything like that, or any sort of chronic. A long illness, time to work. I, I need swear to, to God. leave the building and re-enter. I also need to make space. Oh God. I swear like, to God. Their answer. I'm not kidding you. Their answer is always anxiety. Even if it's a chronic illness, even if, it's always anxiety. Have you tried yoga? Yes, I have. Have you tried drinking water? More than two liters a day, in fact. You know those giant soda liters? I fill them with water. I have one sitting next to my bed. I have three water bottles sitting, and I've drank them all. Why, why do these people have these and I'm still professions if they're not going to actually do their bit. job? Oh, yeah, Ignite, like, of course. The amount of nausea I feel from dehydration and lightheadedness and dizziness. And it's... No, you're not drinking enough water. If I drink any more water, it's gonna... It's gonna end up fucking killing me. What these people... Why does that person have that job if they're not actually gonna diagnose people properly? I know, right? Oh, yeah, but yeah, Rachel oh, Humphreys died know. in 1990. Um, official cause of death remains unknown, but they suspect it was AIDS. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because she died at a hospital that specialized in uh, treating AIDS. Yeah. Hi, cat. I already fed you. Yeah, and just to say, me drinking that water 30 seconds ago, I'm already nauseous from drinking water. Like, if doctors could find the underlying issues, but no, it's all about the money. Why leap it has a higher chance of being male than female, but that's okay, I'm not gonna use it on my team. This, Wait, also leads to, this also leads to a fun fact. This Pokemon leads to a fun fact. That how rock poke, a rock, a rock type has five weaknesses, and grass type has five weaknesses. Put them together, you get four weaknesses. Hmm. Rock and grass individually having the most weaknesses of any single type. Yeah. Yet the, com the yet the combination of the two has yeah, no, one that's less weakness collectively than the two types separately. That is kind of funny, yeah, actually. Even remote Woo. Just a little bit of fun fact that's about rock and grass and the combination. It's pretty how fun. How did I plug in that? Yeah. You would think after how many steps I just did that I would eventually realize that I plugged in the wrong device.
I made it only two point two. So you know it's good. You're gonna Should get have that, that obvious. You hit it, Mr. Brighty. My laptop's home screen on the monitor that my switch was not plugged in. So, are we Nuzlocke? No. Uh -uh. Remember when I only thought that you could do a Pokemon through Nuzlocke? Yeah, and that's why I've never beaten a that Pokemon game before. Yeah, up until Scarlet Violet. Scarlet was my first ever beaten Pokemon game. That doesn't mean for lack of trying or lack of playing Pokemon. It's through the way he was playing the game. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And being unlucky. Yes. Yes. Very, very unlucky. Let's just say trying to run with only a Cyndaquil. And. <sighs> are not we, are we realizing that you're No, we're not Nuzlocke. <laughs> we're not that insane. <laughs> I'm much yeah, Nuzlocke than Nuzlocke Lock if a Nuzlocke could lock Nuz. Screaming and crying because your Pokemon died. You know? <laughs> hmm? But like, yeah, how much nuts would a Nuzlocke lock if a Nuzlocke could lock nuts? <laughs> There's a bug on the other side of the screen, isn't there? There is. As much sense as that doesn't make, I just wanted to put that out there suddenly. Because I thought of it. Fair enough. Holly, let go of the window. <laughs> or the screen. I thought about yes. doing a Nuzlocke, but I'm not sure. The, um, the real challenge is combining that with a randomizer. Hmm. Randomizer Nuzlocke. Holly, hey, hey, that, 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 no. One, the moth is on the other side of the screen. Two, stop trying to eat each other. It's a moth. You can't even get to it for th in the first place. You never have to have that conversation. I don't know how much funny. But yeah, that's have badges right there. Oh! Your trainer card exists. So yesterday, something interesting happened. So my sister's cat, Nala, uh, was going up to Noella at dinner time. She was just sniffing her tail, like, trying to get her attention. Oh, there's, there, there's more stuff that I can do. I just remembered. And when I tell you that was the dumbest decision that Nala could have made in that situation, because it was it, it was Noella's dinner, and um, she gets up in Noella's Nala gets up in Noella's face and hisses and smacks her. So Noella, being the little kitty who's a lot of bark for no bite, um, tried to beat the shit out of her. Emmy. Yeah? And just remember, there is another thing that we can take care of that we could have taken care of after the pre the third gym as well. Oh. We got- we have- we have- ha we have two- two runs of the trick house that we can take care of because it's per gym after the first visit. Hmm. And then yes, there will be another run of it after the championship. After ah. the league. There are yeah, fewer but... runs of the Chick House in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, though. Yeah, and yeah. Nala's... Nala's being no, a very... that'll be a thing. Very cranky old lady cat. Because she's got to go to the vet. So... <laughs> yeah, I wish my sister good luck with that one. Earlier, and Eric yeah, was like... Yeah, the challenges go in order. Earlier, Eric was like, and you have fun taking our daughter to the vet. And she goes, no, 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 you're going with me. <laughs> like, oh, God. It's like, oh, come on.
needless to say, as much as the car ride is not a very long car ride, it is going to be a lot of fun. No, you're not the one going to the vet. I said no, not no one. Ah. It's very confusing when their names are so similar. It was Nala very and Noella. Yes, it was very unintentional, I will say that. So, uh, my dad just calls Noella Marmar. <laughs> She she comes to it, so ain't nothing getting Holly's attention though. Uh. Ain't nothing getting Holly's attention. Holly is Holly is a scaredy cat. She's like I am a proud scaredy cat. I'm scared of everything. You could sneeze and I could fly and I could run into the other room and hide under the bed. Holly, I could lift my finger and you would do better. Well, it wouldn't be me who loves the pepper, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, here we go. Never mind, we're not we're not in trouble. Gab, yeah, you can tell by the levels that we should have done this sooner. Okay. You're still looking you at that. You can tell by that level that this was supposed to be done sooner. Oh, she's a good girl. She's a sweet baby. Sassy babe. Oh, like you moved your controller a centimeter in my direction and now I will bite you. This is still worth doing though at this point. And it still gets me some experience. Oh, you got a tongue! Hey! Don't bite me! How long has it been since dinner time? <laughs> it's like too long. You own the Switch Lite. Yeah, I know, Duck, I know. Question, does Duck use sick controls for Splatoon? I don't know. I think that was the person that joined the other day. Oh, do you use stick controls or motion controls? Because sometimes I, I you use the I use the thing motion the I used to think look when you start up the game, motion is active by default. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I used to think game, of course. Yeah, I know. I used to think the Switch didn't have motion controls. No motion. Okay. Yeah, cause I you I thought the switch light didn't have motion. Okay. Oh, Jack switched he, it. Yeah, he switched it. Okay. Oh. No, Ray, I did to you. I did that with the Wii you as well. <laughs> oh yeah. I tried motion Wait, control a few times, but like, no, it does not work with the way I like to play the game. Hmm. I literally just stick with the sticks. That's how my brain works. Oh, here's a uh, here's a free harbor meal that I could have grabbed. Whatever. I already did that silly side quest. It's not important, but hey, I did it anyway. That's okay. Hey, book club! Thanks for the resub. How you doing today? Sorry. Oh. 
my heart. Trickmaster is smart. Ellipses. <laughs> okay. Sure. Timer ball. Well, excited for the Super Friends Complete Series coming to HD Blu-ray? Oh, wow. The entire series? From, from, from Marvin and Wendy all the way up to Superpowers? Oh, my God. Well, I didn't touch it yet because I had the clams. It'll be a while before we can buy full heels in this All nine game. Seasons. Oh jeez. Is Japan a nice place to visit? I don't know. Never been there. Alright, back to the trick house. I was muted. Sorry, I, like, for the whole is Japan a nice place to visit, I would ask JP underscore Green, because, yeah. well, well, she comes from she lives in Japan. I was gonna say, she lives there, so, well. All the spoons. What the hell? What do you mean? I don't know, but you apparently did. Oh, the hun. Yeah. What yeah. happened? <laughs> yeah. 
Even the big spoons are gone? Back, back to the same place. Stop pressing. It's like try pressing the button. Stop going around in this donut sheep area. Have you considered that, camper dude? how stand based moves can just miss. card to protect the the user's team from it. status like status affliction waves like thunder wave and just those types of statuses in general status ailment protection yeah hey there hero crit Also, yes, of course, I did play Fortune Street last night. It was kind of crazy between me, my, Kevin and myself and Peach and Jessica. Did I get the new Amiibos, Chris? Yes, I did. So did I. Mm -hmm.
okay, I battled that guy, I battled that girl, there should only be one more, that one more trainer up here, the hiker. Also, items in the treehouse are missable. Ah. Especially, like, particularly the ones that you find in the mazes. In this particular situation, using Mudsport is a pretty silly thing when the user is already immune to electric type moves. <laughs> it just kinda happens. switch my electric out for now. But that's okay. I got stuff done anyway. Pro to be announced next week okay. in, in in a uh, in a in a in a Sony State of Play special. Okay, I'll say Shroomish is evolving. Some people some people think Nintendo is going to use the opportunity to announce the Switch 2 and take uh, and take Sony's thunder away. <laughs> oh, who knows? Also, we have Breloom now, which is a grass fighting type. I now have two fighting types on my team. It just kind of happens in particular but teams. Like, as much as it would be, like, quote-unquote, good for Nintendo, like, whatever, like, the whole, like, oh, well, that, that's I'm just... I'm not to worry about Leech Seed anymore. Them being like, oh, well, that's just the PS5 Pro. But we're coming out with the Nintendo, like Switch the next two. Nintendo. Yeah. Okay. Like that would be one a little petty, but it's Nintendo. Let's be real here. Yeah. And uh, number two, that would not be financially advisable because the holiday season is when the switches are like, yeah, like oh, let's buy good a new point. Switch. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. And the holiday so, is in a couple yeah. months. I feel as though if they are going to announce it after the holiday season. Because a lot of the good games get announced after the holiday season or for the holiday season. If you've noticed. Other than like, say, Splatoon 3. Never mind, that actually got announced right after the holiday season. Uh, that's a bad example. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Splatoon 3. No, that got announced in February. That was right after the holiday season. Right after I'd gotten Splatoon 2. And honestly, I saw that marketing scheme. And, uh, yeah, I bought Splatoon 2 two days before Splatoon 3 was announced. Splatoon 2 is still worth playing. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't- I wouldn't take back the fact that I bought Splatoon 2. I would've had to wait that long for Splatoon 3, and I would've just ended up buying Splatoon 2. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. Well, when 2022, like, I'm like, oh, well, that could be the holiday season. Like, like, yes, Legend is still a good game. Because at the time, we didn't know it was coming out in quote unquote summer, to which September is not necessarily the summer, but I digress. Also, did you see the Sims news today? Oh, what Sims news? So, you know how there was no acknowledgement of the anniversary for Sims 4? Nothing about it, just a list of bug fixes. Yeah, and bag is too full. They announced an expansion pack. Another expansion and pack. And two kits. Oh, jeez. And two kits. <laughs> One of My them being a nursery kit. I can't <laughs> a fucking break. I can't catch a fucking break. One of them is a nursery kit. One of them is a nursery kit. One of them is a nursery kit. Hmm. I may hate babies IRL. I will say that. Front and center. I may hate babies IRL. But babies in the Sims are also as much as annoying. However, fun to decorate bedrooms. It's fun to decorate the Sims nurseries. As if they're going to use it for more than... 10 in-game days. Well, at least for me, I play on short lifespan. And that's if you're counting the toddler stage as well. Hello, my child. <laughs> Hello, my child. Are you suddenly Kai Wynn now? <laughs> uh, no, I'm suddenly, I have a cat in my lap. <laughs> the way you said that, though. Yeah, the way you said it, it sounded like Kai Win. Yeah. Prince Blue, my child. <laughs> Hello, my child. Yeah, it Street wasn't the case Jared. of I'm suddenly so and so. It's the case of I'm suddenly I have a cat in my lap. <laughs> uh, Trickmaster is coveted. Says who? Wow, I think Trick Basher might be a narcissist. She's like, why must you give us equal attention? Because it's not fair to the other one if they don't give the exact same amount of love. <laughs> Thing is, whenever I'm petting the one, I want to know where the other one is too, so I can give them the same amount of attention. Uh. Oh boy. Hey, don't My bag me. is still too full because I only did, traded one item for another item. Come back later and get the item from him anyway. I've never had this problem before because I usually put my items away. Yeah, as long as he, he's here, you can get the items from him. Eventually, he goes away, though, once you're done with the Drake House challenges. So even if you have a if you have your bag full and you never get get his gifts, even those are visible. <laughs> Just gonna put put that info information out there right now. Eventually, he will go away, but that's in the post game. Once you clear the last trick house challenge and leave. <sighs> that is important information. Target stand. Powers up the held the uh, held, uh, I, uh, the held Pokemon's rock type damage by ten percent, which eventually becomes twenty percent for these types of items. I think that change happens in Gen Four. 
but yeah, originally it's a 10% breeze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it for the trick house for now. And now that really is it for trainers outside of the next gym. The levels of which are still above my team. Let's go back. Let's take Misty Briny back to his place. And yeah, there's an item ball on one of those little sandy islands that we cannot get to right now. And trainers that we cannot challenge right now because, you know, we don't have surf. We don't have surf yet. technically don't have Torchic anymore. This person has different dialogue. Ah. This applies to whether this uh, the change is applied for when you whether you have your actual starter or not. Like the starter Pokemon in its initial form. That's what that determines whether it has this lady has the first dialogue or the second dialogue. And, it, and the first dialogue you get is determined by which starter you have. Regarding their types and their strengths and weaknesses in relation to each other. And of course we know Pokemon type matchups are more nuanced than just that little bit of information, of course. We only need to battle three trainers to get to the gym leader here. But I'm gonna end up battling all of them. I definitely could use the experience. Actually seeing it written out. What? Oh my god. Well, well Trump spoke at the Economic Club of New York. And he took questions. One of the questions, this was a question. What specific legislation will you commit to to make childcare affordable? This 
was his answer. Well, uh, I, I would do that. And we're sitting down. You, you know, I was somebody. Uh, we had Senator Marco Rubo and my daughter Ivanka were so uh, impactful on that issue. It's a very important issue. But I think when you talk about the kind of numbers, I'm talking about that. Because look, child care is child care. Uh, could, you know, there's something you have to have in this country. You have to have it. But when you talk about those numbers compared to the kind of numbers I'm talking about, by taxing foreign nations at levels they're not used to, but they'll get used to it very quickly. I, mean, I want to stay with childcare, so we'll take care of it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What in the actual fuck? Like, if um, you want people kill to me, have even Fo Sean. kill me. Even Fox News heard that and was like, "What the actual fuck?" If genuinely, I don't understand how people can be so like, well, if. You like it needs to be interpreted regardless. However, I'm not gonna help you out with that. I'm gonna make formula sixty dollars in the last half a week. Like I genuinely what do you think like what the hell? Yeah, that's I, the answer. That's I, the Trump answer. What the that's hell? That's the Trumpiest answer. Yeah. Like I said, like, even, what Fox the hell? News, you want... even Fox News no. was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> there is that. no ifs, ands, and buts about this one thing. If you want people to have children, you're going to help them have those children, okay? Mm -hmm. If you want people to have children, you're going to help them. You're going to help them by raising the wages. Oh, well, minimum wages, uh, like, they're for high school. No. no Companies are not. still doing that. It's not. It's and not FDR just even said that. FDR even said that. Well, when minimum wage, when he first passed the minimum wage law, when he first signed it into law, FDR mm -hmm. even said that minimum wage was meant to be the minimum payment amount that someone could live a, com a semi comfortable life. And that's not true in the slightest. No, it's not. It hasn't 725 been true. is not. Yeah, it has not been not true survival. since. It has not been true since about 1968. Yeah. If how can I say this? If minimum wage had kept up with inflation since 1968, minimum wage it would be thirty dollars. Yeah, uh, yeah, somewhere in the order of thirty dollars an hour. Which is, which is more than I current, which is still more than I currently make, and I'm considered to have a high paycheck for my position. Exactly. Also, Del Caddy is itchy's evolved form. Because the thing is, it's it's not just it's not just high schoolers who work in fast food. Not just that. But high schoolers end up pregnant. I went to high school, you went to high school, we all went to high school. High schoolers end up pregnant. Uh, they're, they're, a good majority of them. I've, I've seen that happen. I've seen pregnancy in high school. From a classmate. Yeah. I was not one of those kids, of course. Otherwise, I'd have a child. Still, but... And I don't mean a very hairy one that I had over uh, 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 some time ago. Isn't it coming up on the one year since she passed yeah. away? Yeah, but it's been about a year since we've had to use an eye Yeah, Yeah. Maybe we could have done something for her sooner. Who knows? Trust me. She had a good long life, though. I was just about to say, trust me, that cat was spoiled fucking rot. Uh, like, yeah. there is without a shadow of a doubt, Rongo, your cat was spoiled fucking rot. Yeah. And the thing is, cats don't live forever. It sucks. Right. It's we do the best for our babies while they're just mm -hmm. while they're here. And it sucks for them. Sometimes I think, what could I have done better for Mr. Kitty? I wasn't the one who ended up letting him out there. I wanted him to stay in. We had a snowstorm coming. 
and mm -hmm. yeah. And I told them, don't let them out. Like, you, like certain members of your family would ever listen to you anyway. Absolutely not. Well, one of the reasons why I had to get out so fast, I don't know if I told you this, but my mom's reaction to me saying that I wasn't going to be able to go to her wedding regardless because of how many times I tried to request it off and the fact that I would be fired if I hit, if I even called off that day. And, uh, yeah, she proceeded to say, this changes our relationship, opens the back door and lets my cats outside. And I have to go out there chasing after them, right as I am running late for work. Yeah. I called, I called my dad that day and got everything planned and then... Literally two days later, Rick lost his shit on me. Like, lost his absolute shit on me. And so I called my dad. Next day I was out. And it happened so fucking fast. Thing is, I tried to tell work as soon as humanly possible. I, like, when- Wait, I got another full heal. When Jen let out let out the cats, and I was on the phone with my dad that day. Was I came into work like absolutely having a breakdown, and and I told one of my managers, I'm like, I don't know when, but it will be soon. I am getting kicked out. Ah, uh. yeah, I got kicked out. Literally less than 48 hours later, so. Oh, where? By the way, we've reached the 15-hour mark. Oh, jeez. Got kicked out where again, you kidding me? Where I was living? From the previous home. Oh, 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 the previous place. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not from work. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I I feel so terrible how everything happened so fucking fast, but it was either I got out, like, it was dangerously cutting it close. Yeah. I had to leave behind so much shit. When I tell you that the bastard who kicked me out was less than half a mile away from the house when we booked it. And I had to quickly shut off my location track. And I still have my location on my phone completely disabled. Yeah. Because I'm too paranoid about it. Even though I completely deleted the account for Life360, I turned off the location on Life360 left the circle, deleted the account, deleted the app, like, wiped all the data before deleting the app. But like, you get what I'm saying? Then I deleted the app. I... I was fucking terrified. Yeah. Like, this trailer went all out, but I have a Jirachi. I have a mystical Pokemon. And we're gonna get battled the rest of the trainers. Sorry, sometimes when I think about that, I completely, absolutely spiral. I am trying to work on that my hardest. I am so sorry. It's okay. You know, because we haven't defeated this trainer, we can't go back to the other room that we were in previously. Oh, that picture. So it says, Arda, show me your most popular piece and loaf bud. Put up, um, put, put up a picture of, um, of, um, 
Pearl and Marina drawn in the style of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Which shows Pearl climbing a ladder with a rose to meet Marina in the tower. And that, yes, that blew up like crazy. Dude, dude was doing a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of fake screenshots from Super Mario Brothers Super Show at the time for April, for April Fools, and that was one of them. But okay. but th but this one particularly blew up because it's just so cute. Me. Yeah. I haven't seen it. <clears throat> you haven't seen it? Of course not. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me, uh, sh let me share it. I'll, 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 since it's Splatoon related, I'll put it in the, uh, downtown Splatsville. There. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I had to recreate my Tumblr account. I I noticed yeah. that you followed me again at Kiami. Yeah, I lost access to the other one. One that I had since like 2017. Oh well. My Tumblr account's also pretty old. Yeah. I see the picture. That is cute. Yeah, I like Tumblr way better than Twitter. But I'm pretty sure anything person would. I love dropping frames. Oh. Uh. I love having connection troubles. Eh. Shit happens. One thing I'm not happy about now that I have returned to Tumblr oh. is that they have a lot more ads. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, are you fucking kidding me. Like, yeah, I know they had a occasional ad, but come on. Everything is now pay to not have ads. Pay to not have ads. Discord's talking we about this. Dis we want to, si want to run subscri subscription models literally everywhere. Uh, guess who's gonna be running a fucking ad blocker at this point? So no, Twitch doesn't like that. YouTube doesn't like that. One thing, one thing I have noted, like, one thing I have noticed is that sometimes, for YouTube Premium, I'll still get fucking ads. And I don't have an ad blocker. But it sure as shit makes me want to use an ad blocker. So I should not be paying that much a month to then inevitably get ads. I've had to cancel so many fucking subscriptions that it's... I'm down to one singular subscription. And a phone bill. That I can't afford this month. Yay. Don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that one, but... Yay. Thing is, if I don't, I don't have a phone number. I don't have a way to get a fucking job interview. But no, everyone just seems to totally be hiring until they actually get a, a fucking application. It should not take. It should not take that long. To get a job, that's only gonna pay you seven dollars an hour. It should not. Be real good.
cannot take you that long. Oh God. <clears throat> J.D. Vance at Trump rally. Trump and I are the only ticket for strong women, as he, he says, as everyone behind him are men. Gosh. Almost everyone. Maybe, maybe this. Let me, let me see. Okay, there's one woman there. But still. Have you seen the one? Have you seen the one meme that's like, hello, we are representatives for women's health? trans rights and black lives and it's a bunch of white cis men mm -hmm. who are like in their 80s you know it's kind of funny the Check out these old the fossils that are allegedly on our side yeah it's kind of funny how the fact of retirement is that it's due to the mental decline of somebody and yet those are the same people who are running our country same age as same age as you retire for supposed oh then well they're they're declining at that age then why the fuck are they running our country that's my question like please make it make sense I need to I'm remember not saying that. I need to remember saying. that I need to actually interact with the doors not just try to shove myself through them yeah I'll uh, also make retirement possible because they've already done that for my generation. Also, something else: Republicans we seem to be going all in on toxic masculinity. Um, there was this there was this one person on Fox that was who who, who was like who was like um young men don't see themselves in the Democrats. I mean, look at I mean, look at Tim Walls. He he was drinking he was drinking a vanilla milkshake with a straw. WITH I'm A sorry. STRAW! You... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on! Is this all you've got? Is he supposed got? to drink it like a soda? Yeah. Like a beer? Yeah, it's like, is this all you've got? No, he's supposed to be chugging, like, uh, chugging it like a beer in a mug. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, I know. I will say. I know. <laughs> I will say this. It feels like they're getting stupider by the moment. Um, yeah, you want to you want to know you want to know you want to know where they saw Tim Walls doing that? Huh. At the dairy building at the state fair, where everyone gets milkshakes with a straw. They don't even. Know. The important detail here, guys. Yeah. Not the milkshake. It's the straw. Yeah. I'm sorry. The last time I checked. <laughs> Granted, before I was minor, or uh, before I, while I was a minor. Hey, a former uh, store. Unless they picked majority uh, of their rooms, unless if they're majority adults, don't sell beer in the first place. Yeah, I know. There's, o there's only there's only there are there's only there's only one beer I really like, and that's Killian's Irish Red. That's the only beer I actually like. Um. I can get by on Guinness if I have to, but the only beer I, I really had a beer like the other day that I had a beer the other day, and um, well, let's just say um, I had a beer on my sister's birthday, and then I had that beer again on Monday. Um, both times we found the outlier, and um, let's just say I can't digest that beer hmm. at all. Right, it's time for the gym leader, our player character's father, regardless of who you play as in, the, in these particular games. Yeah, to a word. Although in the anime, of course, the, the gym leader is May's father. Oh god. Someone drew... Stop someone trying to walk through the door. Someone drew human deep cut, but only two of them are human. Big man is still a manta ray. He's already a man. Tuh. Yeah, but, but I mean, they, uh, I mean, I mean, they drew Shiver and Fly as human, but Big Man is still a manta ray. He's just a, maybe they just he's... drew him like a real life manta ray. 
<laughs> oh, I was gonna say he's already maybe, manned it up. Maybe he's just. I guess. A Question: Would it be the same thing if it's a sea creature and it's like in the furry section group? I don't know. But I do. But I do know. I do know this. I have seen people do human interpretations of Big Man before, and they draw. Yeah. And they they draw him basically as a Brazilian guy, which makes sense. Yeah. Human Pearl and Marina, right. and Human Squid Sisters. Alright, time to get some battling happening against at least a couple of Pokemon with legendary stats. Battle! Mm -hmm. Battle! <laughs> hey, Duck. <laughs> Sometimes I think we got a slacking here. The only thing yeah. that's saving us yeah. from being annihilated too quickly will be its ability, which makes it only be able to move once every other turn. Got a couple chances to lower the defense of this thing. Slacking is looping around. It otherwise has stats on par with legendary Pokemon. It is really strong. It is just held back by Truant, just like his first form. Slack on. resisting normal type moves and yes Norman has hyper potions two of them Thinking is that have my event Girati. Waste had open, by the way? No. We're doing voice chat, sure, but no. Who even asked? Duck. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, wow. There's oh, a reason uh, someone we're shared, using someone shared a picture. Chat. Someone shared a picture of their of their um of their octoling guy wearing Marina's amiibo outfit. Mm -hmm. And 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 he just fucking slays. Also, we have Big Roth, the middle form between the Slack off and Slacking. This thing does not have truant as its ability, just to let you know. We might need to just rely solely on <laughs> Jirachi this time. Oh, another one of those big um, Zoom calls for Harris. Coming up, it's Tuesday, September 24th, Geeks and Nerds for Harris, hosted by Linda Carter. 
also featuring Stacey Abrams, Yvette Nicole Brown, LeVar Burton, Misha Collins, John Cryer, Felicia Day, Patty Jenkins, Matthew Modine, Bill Nye, Robert Picardo, Anthony Rapp, Jerry Ryan, George Takei, and Mary Trump's Nerd Avengers. And by the way, slacking, this slacking is trying to use focus punch. It ha- it's a charge-up phase has a- increased priority, and if you do not hit it, the attack will go through and deal quite a bit of damage. But if you do hit it where the, a- the move actually goes through, it just doesn't work. I think the punch it up itself actually has decreased priority. Let me check. I mean, I won the battle, but still, like, it's a little bit of curiosity because some moves have some interesting nuances to them. Yeah, it has decreased priority. The chart, the the thing where it gets its focus, it gets all focused up. It, it comes first, then you. Then you use the the rest of the move priority as per usual, but then the punch itself has minus three priority. Yeah. Got a lot of experience points right there. But we still have stuff. We still have time to do stuff. There we go. That wasn't so bad because I have Jirachi. Yeah, we don't like crowded uh, chat or voice chats. Sometimes it's okay depending on who it is and what's going on. But like generally speaking, I like to keep things relatively simple and so does Kiyomi. The Twitch chat would stop for trying to run ads at 1080p. Also, I'm all for actually advertising things that I'm interested in, but I already have a Nintendo Switch. I, in fact, I have to. I, in fact, have to. Hey, Raven, what's yes, going on? Kiyomi has two Switches. I have two Switches. Mm-hmm. And we can now use Surf out outside of battle. We got the TM for facade. Doubles power if your if the user is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. A lot of Pokemon can learn that move. It's not a bad move, for sure. It's a, that might be a bit tricky to get full use out of that, though. I'm gonna check the stats on this thing, though. Don't worry, the, the interface for the teams gets better. Yeah, 70 base power, 100 Eww. accuracy. <laughs> you think Switch 2 will be announced? <clears throat> the rumor is um, it'll be announced this month. To be, The rumor is it'll be announced this month to be released in probably next spring. Uh-huh. Well, I definitely have enough money for it on Amazon.
Well, we're well. The thought is they announce it. They announce it this month, and then drop the price on the Switch. Oh, you know what we're gonna give and uh, serve to you. We're, you know what we're gonna teach serve to you. It's not gonna be tentacle. It's going to be line hoon. There are three water type T, uh, three water type HMs in this region as well. So we're getting that again. Yeah. And yes, Waterfall is another one of those Watcher HMs. We're gonna get rid of Odor Sleuth on Lining because Watcher can hit Ghost types, obviously. Yeah. Won't be our best at. at a recipient for that and me, but I kind of want to have some decent distribution of the HM moves, and that's just kind of the best option. A tentacle will get a waterfall and dive. Yeah, dive and waterfall. Yes, dive is the move. Ducky mentioned some duck or ducky. Is it duck or ducky? I swear. Duck. Yeah, duck mentioned like like wondering what would happen if Splatoon 4 was now. Yeah. And I'm like, not I know. Announce that. It yet. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. But I do know exactly what would happen if, with you if they would announce Splatoon 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, the Pokemon that we, the Pokemon that we surf on, the shape of it is that of a Whalmer. Or something similar to it. We get to do some shenanigans with surf now. We can get around and battle a lot what more trainers. Sorry, it's nothing on your guys' then. I I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's Squish party for school two four. Oh if I you like want... the ripples that pop up on this the the, the calm water. It only oh. happens in Gen oh. 3. By the way, for, oh, a for, for April Fool's 2019... Oh, yeah, yeah that is a, coming from outside. By the way, for April Fool's 2019, someone did a video um, purposely advertising a mobile game called Splatoon Island. Yeah, I remember oh. that. I know. And, oh. and we watched that and we wanted it to be real so badly. We were saying, Nintendo, mm -hmm. hire this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I know definitely what would happen if Splatoon 4 was announced. Because I've seen how you reacted to when Splatoon 3, 3 was, was announced. announced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, sorry about freaking out. It sounded like there was an, either an electrical wire was like going haywire or a cicada was screaming. Cicada, cicada, however the fuck you pronounce it, was going nuts. And to which it was fortunately the, the second one. It was yes. the bug. Yes. Oh, you got the shirt? I didn't get the shirt. I just got the wristband. I didn't get anything. <laughs> 
Don't worry, I didn't either. Yeah. I would like. <laughs> so, so every time I hear that part of the song, I think of Super Mario 2 music. Super <laughs> Mario USA music is good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that means Doki Doki Panic music is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sorry about freaking out. Ah, it's fine. It's all right. Cause I I genuinely like it was right at the wall where my plug-in was plugged in, but right outside there, like right outside on the opposite side of the wall, was a screaming bug. So, it, it definitely did trick me. I will say that it's literally right on the opposite side of the wall from. Yeah. Also, we can buy super potions here now as well. That became a thing as well. I think at the same time as it became an option in Rustboro. But, like, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Either way, this is it bit of a precursor to how the Pokemon markets are handled Gen 4 and onward, where it's tied to your badge collection. Wait, what? Eh? I'm sorry, those words did not process in my brain. Gen 4 Pokemon. Gen 4 and collection. onward! The, uh, what you can buy from the Pokemon markets is tied to how many badges you have. Oh, yeah. In the older games, it's tied to the location of the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Which ultimately... That's what you can buy. Ultimately, normally coincides with with whatever badge or level your Pokemon is, but... It's tied still. specifically to the badges. As of Gen 4. Yeah. And it's been that way ever since. That's how it is now. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. But though, of course, things have been shifted around from generation to generation as for what items you can grab. Oh, that's Put right. in there. I did not change my calendar because I forgot that that's a calendar and not just a random photo of Free Marina. I like Free Marina. <laughs> Should I remember the content I do matches and copyright issues on YouTube due to its Z move? I really don't like Red like Can we just skip this one? Like, huh? Ooh. What is the I Pokemon for this month? Grandfordos. Ah! Blast Cannon Extraordinaire in competitive search. Yeah! Why do you think <laughs> I don't like it? Why is that my fucking team all It's strong, but it is so slow. Uh-huh. But still, the second it hits my team, I'm dead. Your team is dead. Exactly. My team has a crippling weakness to steal. It's a rock type, by the way. Yeah. Then how the hell does it hit it like it's a fucking steel type critical hit move? Because Ram Harder says high base attack. Mm, fair enough. What like do you want? Like? It's a glass cannon. and it's slow, it's kind of frail, but it's a physical strength out the wazoo. What do you design your mic talk? We are not heavy. <laughs> like, once oh. you get to hit it, it's be like some crazy damage. What? <laughs> but as a rock type, that means, if you're rock type, that means it has five weaknesses. I don't want the window open, sweetie. There's an annoying screaming yeah. bug yeah. sitting right outside the window. You're like, I know, that's why I want the bedroom window open. I know that's why you want it open. I'm not opening it. Child of mine. Mm. 
Generations is coming out on the 22nd of October, so I don't know. I might be fine with that. I repeat, Mystery Vistas go on October's. Mean monster bitch who closed the window and I'm abusing you because I closed the bedroom window. It's almost as if you don't need the bedroom window open. Uh, the house is open. Just we can at least go ahead and deal with the trick house while I'm thinking about it, so I won't need to try to remember it in a couple weeks. But it's going to be a long trip around there, isn't it? No. That's a shortcut. Coming. Oh, before we go that, before we do that. Before we do that. I want to show you a little thing now that we have sir. No, he's doing well. You're doing good. Wow. He knows he's doing I've been so riding well. my bike the whole time, but I'm riding instead. Are you okay, Noella? Like, yeah, I just wanted to act like I was going to fall so I could get the attention. Behold! Did you love cat. that, Redeem? Yeah. <laughs> Behold! Yeah, I got Woody, Mr. I got Zemo, and gone. I have Fry going, and I have Fry going, What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, now that we have Sir, Br Mr. Briny's boot is gone. And so is Mr. Briny and his pet sea it's eagle buddy. Yeah, the pet pe wingle. They, they, they're gone. We don't need their help anymore anyway, because we now have Sir. We can use it. But yeah. One second. One second. Now let's go take care of the tree cast again real quick. We're not gonna surf all the way around. Or go through the tunnel. We're gonna take a bit of a shortcut. There are trainers here in the Emerald version, by the way. <laughs> a bit of a spoiler, I guess, but like I'm used to playing Emerald more than Ruby or Sapphire. I knew it was one of those sea wind days. Here's my question. YouTube just sent me an email, and well, it knows my watch history. It knows what type of shit I like to watch. Why the fuck would it send me a notification about football? Football! I have not watched football since I was a child. And I only did so because it was what was cool at the time. And I wanted to fit in. And I realized I really didn't understand it, nor honestly. Football is for people who care about football. I know my sister is a huge. <laughs> and I mean this with no disrespect to my sister because she she would call herself this in a heartbeat. A huge basketball nerd. I'd rather watch. I'd rather watch baseball if I were to watch a sport. Yeah. I've never been interested in any sport other than turf war, but you get what I'm saying. I've yeah. never been interested in sports. I've tried getting interested in it. I've 
I've tried participating in sports, but then oh, I haven't taught anything strength yet. yet. No, the thing is, I haven't taught anything strength yet. I can't do this puzzle unless I do that. I tried doing basketball. I tried doing soccer. I tried doing cheerleading. Soccer. Every single time I came home with that stupid application to the team or whatever, my birth giver would laugh at me and be like. You're never going to play sports. You're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. Why the never. hell don't you go outside more? Why don't you get out there? Stupid, stupid. You need to go outside more. You need to play more sports. You need to be more active. Mother, I tried. But you have shunned every single last sport interest out of me to where I don't want to look at a ball. I mean, okay, that's a poor way of wording it. I'm gay. Is that ballsy in that way, guys? I know, honey. I hope you had fun yeah. with that one, Kiyomi. Yes, yes I did. That was the joke. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, that's a poor way of working it. Let me help you. Yeah. Like, Kiyomi, hey, hey, Kiyomi, let me help you with that. I'm, to look, I'm looking stuff up right now, deciding who I want to teach strength. I swear to God, you saying that in the context of this conversation, I was like, please don't look anything up. I'm You're looking like, Pokemon stuff up. Help you. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm looking Pokemon stuff up. Oh, no, that's, that's the joke. And I'm not looking up that type of Pokemon stuff either. Ew, no, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, Thing is, I can't play some Pokemon without people ruining it. Like, it's a fucking animal. Oh, jeez. Right. It's an animal. You shouldn't have any sort of... Desire like that, Pokephilia. It's a fucking animal. I personally, like... I hate the people that are and like, oh, you should... and animals should not go next to each other. Yeah, I hate it when people are like, oh, you chose the, like, Neoscarate and Incineroar and this Pokemon and that because Pokemon. Because of human shapedness. Because it's... No, I chose it because it's a cat. Have you met me? But, but like, that's the, that's the thing that some people would say. I know, but I chose it because it's a cat. Yeah. And I have cats. And I've always had yeah. cats. And I'm I think, looking at the learn and I think cats are just learning smarter. information for me next trick. And when I pick the cat starter, I don't expect it to get on two feet. And I'm disappointed every time. It's a cat. Yeah, I guess we'll give it a strength to me next to Electric, even though it doesn't have exactly the best attack stat out there. You gotta just distri distribute these moves evenly for them to ha still have viable move sets. <laughs> I like how currently all of Electrike's moves are cool. Electric, electric, oh, electric, 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 did I picture three other Pokemon to the point where I had to Google it? Yes, yes, I did. But I still. Yeah, I'm looking at stuff up about these things. Puck is faster, that's for sure. 
Yeah, one of the Pokemon I was thinking of was Electivire. That is a sad case of a Pokemon competitive. It is. I'm okay, Duck. I'm okay. I remember people being all hyped about Electivire and its motor drive ability. You know. And teaming it up with Gyarados for Gen 4 battles because it you know. the, the Electivire would cover for Gyarados' is very obvious electric weakness. <laughs> But Electivire is just kind of not that great. It, it, it's strong, but it doesn't have the greatest moves to go with that, and it's actually slower than Electivire's. This is a similar issue with the... Uh, is Electivire the teeny tiny one that everybody says the shiny as shit? No. So, which one is that? It is definitely not teeny and tiny. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and give a strength to Electrike. <laughs> oh wait, I think I know exactly what one you're talking about. It's the one in between. Yeah. Okay. And what's the reminder that Electabuzz was introduced first? Mm -hmm. Little yeah, plug on it. Quick attack. What's the little one then? It's got a little plug on its head. I need Elekid. to sneeze. Yeah, the baby Pokemon is Elekid. Oh, I yeah. used an Elekid in my Crystal Team. Why did you not remember that? That's strange. Oh, um, yes, I'm thinking did, about it. I did miss a good majority of you playing Crystal. And she, yes, she did become a good Electabuzz. A lot of electric types start with the word Ele. Like electric. Like the names that their yeah. their names can be puns on electricity and stuff like that. Oh, I know. I know, but it also becomes confusing when there's over a thousand Pokemon and a good majority of them. Well, not a good majority. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. if yeah. we're dividing it semi evenly, a good one fifteenth of the Pokemon are electric type sounds, or at least some form of electric, like a dual type of electric. Be here. They can't, yeah, of course, dual text and single text still count for their that that one text yeah. anyway. Yeah. That's why I said 115 instead of 118. And there's also which is why I, there is overlap in the percentages. Yeah, and I was gonna say, and there's two typings that were introduced in Generation Six. Some of them did not become that type. Like some of them were already existing. And then they came that typing, like the yeah, one type was line. introduced. There was one type introduced in uh, Gen Six. I thought the dragon was introduced as, as well. Dragon what? has been a thing since Gen One. You're serious? Yeah, that's a Gen One type. This is one of the original fifteen types. Are you serious? Yes. Ah. I mean, Dragonite is a dragon type. It's been a dragon type. It's always been a dragon type. And a flying type as well. Like, I know that Lance was like the dragon master, but I didn't realize... Yeah! I didn't There's put two and two together. and Dragonite have had the dragon type since the beginning. Why the hell did I think that it became a type in Generation 6? That is... Five generations off. Like that's not a small gap. At some point, dragon type. At some time prior to fairy being introduced, the dragons were definitely an absolute menace and competitive. That's probably what it was. Especially in the regular DS era, like in Gen Four and especially Gen Five. That's probably what it was, honestly. I was like, 
but there was something about dragon type in Gen 6. Yeah, the fact that fairy it, type. It, it get, again, a type that's, it, it, that's immune to it. Yeah. That's fairy. Yeah, I know that. Because I mean things. I say that as if it's some sort of weapon in the game, but no, I'm well, technically, I guess you could call Moonblast a very effective weapon. Yeah. Fact, super effective. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the moon blast of a move. And if I do find another shiny dearling, I would have moonblast it into the sun. Too far? I don't think that's too far. I mean, everybody knows I do not like your link, though. So. Yeah. yeah. The only way you're saving it is if you request me to catch it for you and braid it. Uh -huh. I wouldn't care if you had given me a regular, like, level one Pokemon. Like, except if it was just, just Just take this thing off of, the, off of him. Yes. If I ever find a shiny Applin, just know, if it is in some sort of voice chat, there will be some sort of reaction, like, reaction similar to how- The secret patient. Like, you know how any reaction just plus two and three? That's gonna uh -huh. be reaction if I find a shiny applin. Basically I'm over the same stuff. I'm encounters. It is a one in 512 chance. And I am over 3,000 encounters. I've been hunting since November, and I would like it to stop. It is September. I have been hunting since November. Granted, on and off because my mental health cannot take that. Every other hunt is very quick. Oh, the mystery this one was like, what, egg 400, I think? Oshawott was 382. Sprigatito was a little bit over odds, but. Not too bad. It was like two. I feel like I got pretty lucky with that hunt that I did on White Two. The pedal L. Yeah, I, I was not looking for anything specific. I was just seeing how long it would take to get you know, to just have a shiny happen. It was the sixty-third encounter. Yeah, yeah, that was incredibly lucky. So that full odds. Yes. As I said, that was incredibly lucky. Yeah. For those who aren't aware, that's one in eighty-one ninety-two. Yeah. I was gonna say that was the original odds <laughs> out of the predicted the predicted amount of time that it was gonna take, which is base odds, which is one in eight thousand one hundred and ninety-two. Yeah. It's just insane. It also, is. there was that shiny man type I ran into under in Brilliant Diamond, and I was not even looking. Yeah, no, that was definitely something. Or that shiny Azeril I got at the beginning of my Violet adventure. It would have been nice if I had gotten that on Scarlet, you know? Yeah. It would be nice if I got a shiny Azeril, you know, just for the decks, but I know for a fact I'm not going to come for living that, like any sort of decks or living decks. I just like having as many shinies as I can, and knowing my luck, I've already walked past several shiny Was it Azeril? Yeah, Azeril. When I tell you, I have this certain method to doing the outbreak hunts. The auto battle feature. It will not knock out a Pokemon that is shiny unless it is in synchro mode. Never use synchro mode when you are shiny hunting. You will dis you will disappoint yourself and you will cry. You will fail at shiny because your Pokemon will kill it. Um. So I was in a, the Bagon hunt the other day, running around, knocking out them. Pokemon goes back to the ball. Nothing, nothing too odd there. It sometimes does that. However, that could tend to mean that there's a shiny around. I didn't think much of it, clearly. And so, I accidentally ran into a Pokemon. And I didn't realize it was in the background. 
And when I left the, like, when I left the battle thing, because I'm like, okay. These, these boulders are to being scrolled off the screen and then being put back to their default positions. Yeah, I was like, okay. That one's not the shiny. I don't even need to worry about knocking that one out. I went to knock the next one, and it refused to kill it. And I'm like, I was that close to it. And I ran into it, and it was shiny. And I'm like, oh no, my no, god. Yeah, I really... Really, really, really should not be hunting Pokemon that I can't tell much of the difference, if not any difference. Because I'm yeah, sure I will Mantec yeah, is one of those bad Pokemon that they, it barely changes color when it's shiny. But I'm still happy I have it. Yeah. Shinies are still always nice. Yeah, they sparkle. And that's the important thing to me. Yeah. That Trade Basher sparkle. is cool. Ellipses. Admittedly, some of the shinies Trick I have. Trickmaster, please stop raising your yourself. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Trickmaster, please stop oh, raising oh, yourself. You said trick. You said trick. Okay. Yeah. That is. We're gonna leave it at that. I. We're gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Honestly. If you're if you try to run away from a wild Pokemon battle and the Pokemon you have out on the field is holding the smoke ball, you are guaranteed to run away from that wild encounter. Ah, Dragonite was super strong in Gen One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just teach it a Thunder Wave and Rap, and you should be good. <laughs> and Hyper. <sighs> oh gosh. Like the most annoying thing you can do in competitive battle in Gen. One of the most annoying things you can do in Gen One battling. Dragonite. Nowadays, all you need to do is give it, make its Terra type normal and have it know extreme speed. Enter. <laughs> Just watch it absolutely obliterating obliterate anything that is either not resisting that move or immune to that move. I will tell you one thing. The rule edge with a uh, bitter blade and sword uh -huh. dance. Uh huh. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh my god. When I tell you I finished the game within less than 60 hours, like... That's how you did it, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you just love how much power creep occurs from generation to generation? <laughs> yeah, but I used... I used Cerule Edge. Because I was like... Well, the thing is, I had the Charcadet. Yeah. So then my party, and then have it occasionally level up. No, uh -huh. get finished. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that fucker leveled up real fast, and then it evolved into the Cerule. <laughs> he got one of the most busted things around. Oh, no. Yes, it is one of the most busted Pokemon I've ever used. I can't. I don't. By the way, go have, go back, by the way, go talk to your your player character's mom after you get the after you get your fifth badge, the balance badge. You get an amulet coin from your mom in Hoenn. I thought you were talking about Paldea. I was like, seriously, there's actually a reason for you to go back home, Paldea. Yeah. A Pokemon that holds the amulet coin and participates in a bat a trainer battle will give you more money than normal. I think it's double. Let me check. But you just said Double Ho money in battle if the holder takes part, yes. You just said Hoenn, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Ruby, okay. Sapphire, Omega, Ruby, and, uh, yeah, that's Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha, Sapphire. Okay. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire, it's remix, also Emerald. The, yeah, the Gen, the Gen 3 games that are not Fire, Red, and Leaf Green, and then the Gen 6 ah. remake game. Here's hey, my question. Red Guy, what's up? Go on. In a Pokemon game, except for a different color. 
Start the question. question over again. How many times have they used the color red in a Pokemon game? But just worded it differently to say. Enough times. Huh? I don't know. I'd have to look that one up. Because there's red, there's ruby, there's like ruby. Right, there's red, there's ruby, there's fire red, there's scarlet. There's Omega Rufy. Uh, there's Omega Ruby, of course. Either Scarlet. Yeah. That's it. It's a lot. Can always add uh, that. Uh, <laughs> that is a lot. Let's go save in Briny's place. It'll be a couple of weeks before we get back to this because Emmy loves her Splatfest preparation that much. <laughs> well, also, just, Professor Birch is out here. Well, just a little under two weeks. <laughs> Why can't we do the Take It Easy stuff on Tuesday next week? Because Emmy prioritizes a Splatfest week that much. <laughs> that we just can't do it during this actual regular Splatfest week timing. And that's why we do the compensation afterward. Yeah. I can't wait till Splatfest, sir. But don't worry, Kiyomi, there will be many fests at some point. Also, Splat one official fest, so nothing's going to change. Well, I don't what? know if Splat Fests are going to be every month after this. But, you know, they're going to happen. Yeah, Especially probably for... just the special fests, so. Especially for Splatoon 1. Oh, yeah, Splatoon 1, but... They, they're what? still working on that, though. They're... They, they, can't seem to, they can't seem to Max quite get level. it right for some reason. You're at the maximum level with the maximum coins with God only knows how many conch shells. Where was that? There are no conch shells. Oh, God. I don't think you need to grind those. Or she snails. I don't think you need to at all. And grinding is kind of moot in Splat 1 because there are no gear, gear chunks either. How, how what? 125. Yeah, yeah, there are no gear chunks. Oh, I didn't even use gear chunks until Splatoon 3. Well, there's also I the thing about practice, too. <laughs> but She needs to be warmed up that far, uh, starting that far in advance, guys. Yep. yep. Whatever. <laughs> I gave up on Splatfest week a while ago. Yeah, I know. Splatfest week is... not fun. At least it's not super fun for us. Yeah. Especially not Kiyomi. Splatfest, especially with you, Ronko, is like, really fucking fun. But other I than that... Have, I try to make things fun. I don't really play much Splatoon. I'm trying only to reason, again as well. Only reason why I've played a little I mean, more. We had a good session on Tuesday. Yeah. Only reason why I've played more Splatoon this past week is because my MCC, MCCC, MC Command Center is broken, and I can't figure out a way to fix it. And if the MC Command Center is broken, then so is the Sims. So. Of course that happens on the anniversary week. We have so now hit 16 hours of uh, playtime on this playthrough, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, it's the case of, oh, well, if there's a broken mod in the game, it just won't do the mod at all. All right. And it'll be No, the fuck you won't. Everything will yeah, break. Yeah, we are... Okay, so next time we get to round to... We, well, for tonight, we have gotten another gym badge. Yes. Mm-hmm. Next time, we're going around the parts of the region that we've already been to and using Surf. Surf? 
to do more battles in preparation for the other side of Hoenn. We'll see if I remember to do the strength thing in uh, the in the tunnel that we take uh, to bypass the de desert before. Right. <laughs> we'll get things done. It's going to be side questing, basically. Okay, surf around for tra to fight some trainers and get items and stuff like that. All right. Yes, we're at that point of the Hoenn now. All right, I got I got the shout outs done for Ronco and Kimmy. Yeah, Kimmy but overall, we did get we did get follow. things done tonight. We got a badge. Uh huh. Five. We can now, and, and we, yes, of course, we can now surf yeah. as we've already seen. Alright, so let's uh, get the And I finally trails. remembered to put strength on one of my Pokemon. <laughs> let's get those creds rolling. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of stuff left to do. Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern for the Grand Run! The first all Grizzco Big Run. And also, thanks to Book Club for the resub. Always appreciate it. You are awesome. Not the first All Grisco Big Run. <laughs> the first big run with all Grisco weapons. Yeah, this is the first big run with all Grisco weapons. It's a, it's Grizzfest, but bigger. Mm -hmm. Last all Grisco. Yeah. No, we, we've had all Grisco days, but we've never had it on a big run before. Then what was the last thing that we... Was that the all Grisco that we did the last time we played the run? Ago? Yeah, yeah, that was an all Grisco day, but it wasn't a big run. That was just regular salmon run. Yeah. Oh. My brain is very much... It's still called Grizzfest because that's what we call the all Grisco things. That's how we called it. That's what we called it in Splatoon 2 as well. Right. Hmm. All, right. Well, all right, we're going to keep things Pokemon, and we're going to go raid Loki the Octo, who's playing Scarlet and Violet right now. Nice. I'm finally getting around... I've finally gotten around to start, to work, start working on the DLC, guys. <laughs> and until... Tomorrow, you know what to do, folks. Follow and subscribe. Join the Particle Acceleration. You can also join us on Discord. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat. Or scroll down to where it says join the Particle Acceleration on Discord. Until tomorrow, I am DJ Particle. I've been here with... Ron Kahoshino. And... Hey, it's Kim. And we're out of here. Peace. Take it easy. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.